Hi there Taurus, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Uh, please take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Um, we're not going to delve into a particular topic. Uh, we'll just uh, draw the cards and see what's the overall energy. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. In your current energy, we've got um, four of salt. In your challenge area, we've got Page of Pentacles. In the area of what you don't see coming, we've got Seven of Pentacles. In your recent past, we've got Ace of Wands. In your crown area, we've got Two of Wands. Yeah, Two of Wands. In your immediate future, we've got Ten of Swords. In the area of how you see yourself, we've got Queen of Wands, a lot of <laughs> Wands energy. Uh, in your, the area of how others see you, we've got Five of Cups. In the area of your fears, we've got High Priestess. And in the final, uh, in the outcome, we've got Seven of Wands. I'm going to put uh, a few clarifiers. Uh, so the first one is going to be for your recent past. Okay, uh, to clarify the eight of wands, we've got nine of swords. Okay, there's something, I mean, probably you heard something recently or some news came in uh, that kept you, felt, I mean, they kept you worrying. Um, we've got Wheel of Fortune um, to clarify the Ten of Swords. And uh, as the, the final outcome, we've got... Uh, Five of Pentacles to clarify the seven of wands. So, <coughs> interesting. I'm going to also um, pull one card from this deck, just to see what this deck is going to say. Uh, we won't look into that card until the very end. Having said that, I will pull out some knowledge cards. And an angel card. Okay. Alright, so in your current energy, <coughs> we've got four of wands, uh, four of swords, which is a, a time when you guys are resting maybe you had been working quite a lot so you just feel like you you need to rest now um or just to recover from from something that was um quite overwhelming um before and this is i feel something to do with uh, as i said a message that probably um uh, was not a good one um, some probably bad news came uh, to your attention recently or you've experienced something that you were not satisfied with uh, and it kept you awake uh, for quite some time um, which eventually uh, it tells me that it's something to do with an ending here because we also have a ten swords and the ten of swords are clarified with will of fortune which again was and is the energy for some time i mean i think the past three readings were all related to something ending um but i think that although that that ending may feel like that that it's something that may um be as in a disappointment for you uh, for, for letting something go I think this is I mean that needs to end in order something better to come
come into your life. And if you keep on withholding and trying to keep what's not for you, have the feeling that you'll be kept disappointed, uh, although that it will be a temporary disappointment, you feel like you're left in the cold uh, for some time. And so I think the message here is actually quite straightforward. If you keep your energy as being focused on something that's negative, that it's no longer serving you, eventually, because you're still within that energy, it means that the period where you will be in it is going to be taking longer than it is supposed to take. Um, and this is just because you're being stubborn, because Taurus can sometimes be stubborn. And if they want something, they will keep on trying to do everything within their power to get what they want, or even though the, that may not be necessarily the best thing for them. Uh, so yeah, it, not sure what it is, uh, whether it's related to the love situation or some or disappointment in career. Um, the more you delve into it, uh, the worse it's going to get. Although that, as I said, it will be just temporary feeling, but um, it's up to you for how long that will remain in your energy. Well, uh, it's very simple. Um, you had ten of swords for the past three readings. <laughs> As the, as the final outcome, so it feels like you are still holding on to something. Although the, it's it's clearly that uh, it had ended, and the universe is trying to just bring something new, a new cycle into your life. But again, it's up to you to be receptive to in order to accept the new energy. In the area of your challenge at the moment is uh, page of pentacles and this explains why it feels so difficult to receive the universe is trying to give you a new future and uh, not a new future but i mean a new start and it's difficult for you to accept that new offer uh, that's how i see it or uh, this is actually a card related to studying something perceiving into a new endeavor uh, or you have either new job interest or a new course that you want to study or some new hobby that you want to pick up or a new love it just it feels whatever the it's coming your way although that it's still in a very like early stage of growing um, it feels like you're not simply receptive to to get it so yeah as i said i just feel like you need to let go of that uh, that past energy in order the new one to come in. Um, in the area of uh, what you don't know is that you've been working really hard towards something uh, to the extent that you started doubting yourself whether the work that you've been putting in is actually worth it. And if you've been working towards uh, that, that past and trying to improve things, um, maybe it's time just to focus on working, uh, focusing on working that, on something that actually will work in your favor. Let's put it this way. Um, a lot of people say that, uh, actually, the Wheel of Fortune is really good card, but I feel like it is a good card if you know how to tap in, into the energy that's good and just skip the energy that is not good. Um, I mean, it, this card is all about uh, one cycle coming in, then another, uh, spending some time there, and then uh, that cycle ends and a new one begins. But I had the feeling that if you just stay here in the center of the wheel, where you can observe everything that's going on in your life, you'll be in a better position to know, oh, okay, a good thing is coming, let me put more work into that good thing so it literally comes into my life and by having said that when you're still in the center you also observe the bad things and when you see that something that potentially is not good then you just 
skip it and wait for, for another one to come in. By this, by doing so, I have the feeling that you will be just expanding in a good way. You will be progressing into something, you, you will feel like you own the world and the world is in your hand. So as, as the cars depict the guy is holding the globe um, and they have a vision, a vision that will potentially allow them to do um, to make a decision that will lead to growth and uh, to expansion. In the in the area of how you see yourself, although that there are a lot of cards of disappointment and not so great energy, um, you, you're still confident. Maybe uh, let's say you go exercise, you look after yourself uh, to keep on that physical appearance, you may be doing things to stimulate your mind, you, that could be meditation, it could be just uh, resting, because sometimes we need rest in, your, in our life, we can't be like uh, in, in workout mode non-stop 24-7, I mean, if we keep on doing that, eventually we'll burn out, and <laughs> when you burn out, trust me, it takes longer to recover than uh, spending the, uh, the time to prevent a burnout. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like you uh, maybe if you're doing something related to your career, maybe you are in a quite po powerful position, maybe you are a leader, you can be, you can be managing people, uh, whatever you are doing, you, you are confident, maybe you are just really good at what you do, um, at work for example, or um, yeah, this is more like type of uh, a card that's related to the career rather than um, love. And although that, I mean, it could be something uh, that disappointment to, to be doing something with a person. So like that, um, maybe you got rejected or something did not work in your favor. But I mean, you're still confident in your how you present yourself out there, uh, which is amazing and uh, not very easy to, to maintain as well. Um, but yeah, kudos to, for doing that. In the area of how others see you, although that you appear as confident, I feel like uh, people around you who knows you really well can see that uh, there is some level of disappointment in your life. But the thing is that while they see you that you are disappointed in whatever did not work out, they know that probably this is no longer something that's serving you any good. Because this guy, the, the, the history of this card is that the guy lost his taste for wine. Uh, but the thing is that he did not, uh, he's no longer enjoying drinking wine as he used to. And by focusing too much on something that uh, was previously good for him, he is actually not looking at the two new opportunities behind him, the two of cups, which could allow him to, to see what's out there. And um, he will see by, the, by actually looking, not focusing on the things that bring disappointment, but focusing on the things that could eventually bring good, uh, good energy in his life or her life he will be also able to see the bridge and go back to his castle. Uh, and I had the feeling that here the bridge is just um, either a person or a situation, opportunity that will lead you to that expansion or going back to your roots uh, or the time when you were truly happy. Uh, yeah, that sort of thing. I think the castle here is more like going back home, uh, as in going back home, but in your inner self, in your inner body, when, where you felt uh, content, uh, joyful, uh, full of happiness, that sort of thing. The area of your, in the area of your peers, we've got a high priestess. And the thing is that whatever that situation is, Deeply inside yourself, you know that actually what I just said is true because your intuition tells you to do something that is going to be allowing you to, to take on new opportunities that will work in your favor. You know that 
that situation that you are so regretful now and sad about is simply not for you. Um, so I had the feeling that, again, here the message is quite clear, that all you have to do is just listen to your inner self, your intuition, and you'll be able to overcome that hurdle of yours. Um, but as I said, if you keep on withstanding, defending your position and trying to keep something that's not good, um, eventually that will lead to more disappointment, although that it will be temporary, you'll feel like you're alone without somebody, no, without anyone uh, to support you in whatever you've been doing. This is also sometimes a card of being feeling like you're broke, but whatever difficulty you're experiencing, whether it's in terms of your finances or love life, um, this is going to be just temporary, very temporary. Um, because it, it's just a matter of seeing um, the good things. I mean, uh, these guys, they are like, uh, they are alone uh, in the cold, but if they look around, you'll be in a position to see that there is actually um, a church or a home next to them where they can go and look for shelter. Um, same as the two cats here at the, at the back. Um, yeah, I feel like the reading is just, I mean, connecting. All the cards are connecting between each other. Um, so let's see into your um, angel card. Uh, the angel card says compromise. Maybe you should actually stop compromising and uh, for the sake of somebody else. Um, because when we try to compromise way too much and give too much of our energy and in order to fulfill somebody else's um, dream or uh, desires, uh, we kind of start losing um, um, our own roots and how we we start like not being ourselves anymore and this is a really bad thing to do uh, the other card says new life so yeah there is something new that wants to come into your energy and just as I said a matter of you learning to let go of the past the monology card, uh, uh, the monology card says step out of your comfort zone maybe uh, you've been just too used to the old feeling and I had the feeling that right now you just need to step into the, uh, the comfort zone. Maybe if you went through a breakup recently or something, just I mean, put yourself out there. Obviously you're confident, you know that you had a lot to offer uh, and therefore, uh, I mean, uh, you'll be eventually successful, but you just that needs to be, you need to do something that it's not uh, uh, your usual cup of tea, let's see. And uh, by stepping out of our comfort zone, this is actually when the growth comes in. Uh, because you cannot expect to do and keep on doing uh, the same thing over and over again and to expect different results. That's not how life works. If you want to improve in an area, you definitely need to put the hard work. Uh, you need to definitely try new things that you have never tried before. Uh, I know that this can sound scary sometimes, and it is, but uh, yeah, it's simple as that. Um, I hope that reading resonated with you guys. If it did, please smash that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I can reach 300 subscribers very soon if I do so. Thank you so much, and yeah, we'll see you again very soon. Peace.